So I got a question for you. How old or how mature do you think someone needs to be before they start their diver training? What's up guys, it's Brian again from Lake Hickory Scuba Marina. I got a very special guest with me. I got Miss Carson here. You guys have seen her in several of our older videos. We did one where we were sizing you for a new BCD, correct? Mm -hmm. And I noticed you have a Girls That Scuba shirt on. Are you a girl that scubas? Absolutely. Uh, guys, if you're not familiar with Girls That Scuba, they have a just awesome social media network out there. Go check them out as well. So hashtag Girls That Scuba on their Instagram and even on their YouTube as well. But what we got Miss Carson here for, by special request, one of our viewers, they wanted to ask you some specific questions about why you dive, how old you were, and things like that when you got into diving. So I thought we would do an interview style video with you, and basically I'm just going to read off the questions that he asked as well. But before we get started, if you are new to our channel, do me a huge favor. What should they be doing? You should definitely smash that like button if you like this video. Hit the subscribe button and turn on notifications to get a new video. Absolutely, and that way you guys will never miss out on any of our great content. So, Miss Carson, uh, G actually commented on a previous video of ours that had you in it, and he's asked several different questions, and all I'm going to do is just read them off to you and let you answer to our audience and to G as well, right? Mm -hmm. So, question one that he had was, is when did you become interested in diving, and how old were you? Um, I was maybe six or seven and my dad was going to dive and I was like where are you going and he said I'm going to dive and I'm like what's that so it he basically just said well it's where you got a tank you go in the water you can breathe underwater it's a superpower that you got that's pretty cool. And we've got a very unique story or a very similar story because my dad did me the same way. I'm like, hey, where are you and Grandpa going? They're like, well, we're going diving. And I was six years old when I started, and it, it kind of sparked that interest in me as well. So that's pretty cool. We've got a very similar story there. Question number two that he had is, is were you afraid to breathe underwater for the first time? Yes, because I thought something was going to happen like, maybe my regulator was going to fall out, and I was like, well, the first day that I took the class, I was not going to go scuba diving. I was like, nope, not doing it. The second day, I was like, I'm going to do this. I want to do this. I was like, come on, I want to go. I want to go. I want to go scuba dive. But, yeah, so... So would you tell people out there it's got a fear about it that you should always face your fears and definitely go slow with it. If it's something that you're definitely not comfortable doing, go slow. Make sure you're getting proper training through an instructor and, and just go slow with it and you can definitely face any fear out there, right? Mm -hmm. um, that kind of is a great segue into question number three here. He says, what advice would you give a young person to help them not be afraid with it? Um, What I would say was... would. Be like, if you want to do it, go and try it. If you're too scared, maybe try it when you're older. Like, if you're, if you want to do it now, I would say get proper training for it. So maybe it could become a career for you. So right, and I think it's important too. You stay in if you want to wait till you're older. Wait till you're older. I think having that right mindset and having the right maturity level to do this is very important as well. Uh, I know in the industry right now, obviously you got to be ten to get certified, but a lot of training agencies like SSI has that scuba ranger program, which you can start when you're eight years old. Um, and you happen to be an SSI scuba mm -hmm. ranger, right? Do you remember where you did your training at? Um, I think it was at. Open Water Adventures. Right, and they're, they're a fellow SSI shop here in, in North Carolina as well. Who's your instructor? Um, his name was Andrew Shearer. 
It's a cool deal. Give a, a good shout out to Andrew. Uh, and I don't know him personally. I know your dad does. Mm -hmm. And for the ones that don't know, her dad is currently one of our dive masters. He's working on his instructors now, but I know your dad knows him real well. Mm -hmm. And I've heard him always have high regards to him. He's always spoke very highly of him. So definitely go check them guys out as well. Well, Carson, that was basically all the questions that he had for you. I want to uh, personally thank you for coming on camera with us and just giving us an interview as far as what made you want to get into diving? Because you're still young. How old are you now? I'm nine. So she's nine. So I know you're turning 10 here very soon, and you'll be completing your open water program, correct? Mm -hmm. So once again, thanks for coming on, talking to our viewers, um, because diving is a great family activity. I know I've done it since I was about six, same same age that you started. And just like Miss Carson's going to be doing it with her dad, I started with my dad as well. And it's something that families can always... The families that dive together really stay together, and you know I'm living proof of that. My my dive shop here, or our training center, is co-owned by me and my father, so it's a great activity to keep families together, and we can have fun doing it. And I think that's a key thing to diving as well. You gotta have fun when you're doing this. If you're not having fun, you're not learning, then go do something else, right? But <laughs> so Carson, thanks again for coming on, um, guys. If you like these interview style videos, you want to see more of them. Smash that like button, drop me a comment. If you want to see more videos with Miss Carson in it, maybe some gear demonstrations or some skill demonstrations with her, let us know down in the comment section below what you guys want to see next, and we will do our best to produce the videos. Because I really appreciate you watching this video. If you got any questions, drop me a comment down below. I'll try to answer it the best I can. As always, guys, make sure you follow us on Instagram and Twitter, like us on Facebook, pin us on Pinterest, subscribe to us here on YouTube, and as always, guys, thank you for your business. Take care.